welcome to ra online so today's topic is maternal mortality and uh, in this uh, class we'll first get an introduction we'll define maternal mortality we'll define maternal mortality ratio and we'll differentiate it from maternal mortality rate we'll also discuss the lifetime risk of maternal death we'll tell about the important causes the factors associated we'll discuss the statistics and what actions can be taken for the safe motherhood so maternal mortality is a most important indices of healthcare of every country and it is always a tragic event and almost always avoidable and maternal death can occur in uh, developing countries and most of the deaths happen in the sub saharan africa and south asia countries and uh, prevention of maternal death begins with the preconceptional management and comprises of good antenatal intrapartum and postpartum care and early identification and management of the most important high risk factors of pregnancy like anemia hypertension hemorrhage and also educating the health mother one maternal death is encountered every 60 seconds in this globe So according to WHO maternal death is defined as death of a woman occurring during pregnancy during childbirth or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy irrespective of the duration and site of pregnancy from any cause related to or aggravated by pregnancy or by the management of that cause which was related or aggravated by pregnancy but not from accidental or incidental causes so it is not related to rta in pregnancy so maternal death can have a direct cause or it can have indirect causes so direct maternal death is because of the obstetrical complications of pregnancy like labor puerperm interventions done during labor and puerperm omissions incorrect treatment or a chain of events resulting from any like death from eclampsia postpartum hemorrhage or abortion is a direct maternal death Now indirect maternal death is death due to a previous existing disease or diseases that developed during the pregnancy which were not due to obstetric causes but were aggravated due to the physiological changes of pregnancy like death due to mitral valve prolapse or death due to renal failure Now maternal mortality ratio is number of such maternal deaths per 1 lakh live births So uh, most of the countries the MMR or maternal mortality ratio is 4 to 40 per 1 lakh live births and in India it is around 100 to 700 and uh, 254 per 1 lakh in live births in India so numerator is the maternal death and denominator is the live birth so this is the maternal mortality ratio or the number of maternal deaths per 1 lakh live births now come to maternal mortality rate maternal mortality rate is maternal death per 10000 women of reproductive age group in the same period so maternal death divided by the 10000 number of women in the who are in the reproductive age so this is called as maternal mortality rate lifetime risk of maternal death is defined as the probability of women dying in her reproductive years due to causes of pregnancy childbirth or within 6 weeks of childbirth of india in in uh, india it is the lifetime risk of maternal death is 0.3% so lifetime risk of maternal death is a cumulative probability over your whole life of becoming pregnant and of dying from the pregnancy so if this is the age specific rates of dying during the reproductive life period of 15 to 49 years so what are the causes of maternal death hemorrhage sepsis hypertension obstructed labor complications of abortion and other disorders this include both the direct causes and the indirect causes so direct obstetrical death is 75% cause indirect is 25% cause and direct 75% cause are those relating directly from the complications of pregnancy or delivery like abortions ectopic preeclampsia eclampsia antepartum postpartum hemorrhage and puerperal sepsis indirect death due to conditions present before or developed during pregnancy like anemia cardiac disease diabetes thyroid out of which anemia is the most important single cause in the developing countries viral hepatitis 
a pandemic can also cause sometimes there can be non obstetric causes or fortuitous deaths like accidents typhoid and other infectious diseases during pregnancy so there is a model which says about the contributions to maternal mortality can be because of the three delays so delay at the level of the lady who's seeking the care late or she there is a delay in the infrastructure she is not able to reach the facility on time or there is a delay at the level of the hospital or a medical healthcare team so associated with worst is the age so optimum reproductive efficiency begins within 20 to 25 years in the young adolescent pregnancy there is a high risk due to preeclampsia cpd and uterine inertia and a woman above 35 years is also risky slight more risk is there in primary but it is three times greater in para five or more when the postpartum hemorrhage malpresentation and rupture uterus are more common in parity five and above socioeconomic status mortality is more in women in low socioeconomic status